This video will show you how to set up your trail trigger shifters on a flat handlebar. As always, if you have questions or run into trouble, bring your bike to a professional mechanic. The goal of our trail trigger shifter platform is to put the controls where your hand is naturally and allow you to shift precisely without compromising your grip. Because of this, proper setup is very individual and can vary greatly depending on riding position, style, and preference. This video guide will provide you with a good starting point for shifter setup, but remember, you can always change your setup as your preferences develop. To find the best position, start with the bike on flat ground and the shifter clamp bolt loosened. There are two main modes of adjustment for the trail trigger shifter. Horizontal placement in relationship to the grips and vertical rotation around the handlebar. Proper setup along the horizontal plane depends on hand size and preference. With all fingers wrapped firmly around the grips, you should be able to reach both thumb triggers. Since brake position varies, it's possible that the most comfortable position for the shifter will be to the inside of the brake lever. But for most users, it will be best to position it outside the brake lever. Experiment with moving the shifter back and forth, making sure to leave enough room for your grips. At this point, you can begin to dial in the rotation around the bar. With your hand in a normal riding position, you should be able to use the upper lever with almost no hand movement. That will put the lower lever in position for optimal leverage throughout the shifter stroke. Once you have a good position set, tighten the bolt and test the position by standing over the bike and shifting both directions. Make small adjustments as you feel necessary, remembering to tighten the shifter clamp bolt to five Newton meters. Once you're ready to install the cable, make sure that you depress the upper lever repeatedly until you run out of indexes. Then, route the cable through the hole on the side of the shifter and into the rear derailleur cable housing. Every derailleur is different, so make sure you follow the correct instructions to ensure proper setup. Derailleur housing length can vary by bike and also by how you prefer to have it set up. A general rule of thumb is to make the housing long enough so you can turn the bars at least 90 degrees from straight. For further guidance on proper cable routing, consult your bike's owner manual. That concludes the setup video for our trail trigger shifters. If you have any questions, please email us at service at microshift.com.